welcome to video class students this is sharada from zph sri rangavaram today we will discuss uh, median and mode first we will discuss about the median for uh, ungrouped data here what is the median value for first 10 even natural numbers let us write the even natural numbers so what will be the median for these numbers so there are 10 in number the median value will be the numbers at the center so there are two numbers at the center that is 10 and 12 for finding out the median we have to take an average that is 10 plus 12 by 2 that is equal to 11 now we'll find out mode for ungrouped data so these are the the data given so first what we have to do we have to arrange this data in an ascending order like this so once when we arrange these numbers in an ascending order the most frequently occurred number will be the mode of the data so when you look at the data 5 and 9 numbers occur frequently so both 5 and 9 occurs more and equal number of times hence the data has a bimodal data look at this question the following are the sizes of the shoes sold by a shopkeeper in a particular day which size shoe should be kept at stock to get a uh, maximum profit so these are the sizes of the shoes the shopkeeper is having so which numbered size he should kept at stock to get a maximum profit so which number is is on demand the number 7 so the public demand is for size 7 number shoe therefore the mode of the data is 7 median for grouped data so you are in 10th class you may get the median problem for 8 uh, marks question this year and uh, regularly 4 marks question for this question so this is very important and very easy also so for this in the question paper they will give the crash interval and the frequency like the crash interval is given and the frequencies are given so the sum of the frequency is 20 so for finding out the median you have to find out the cumulative frequency you know how to find out the cumulative frequency this is learned by you at 8th standard itself so for that again we'll review this is 3 when you add 3 plus 2 that is 5 again 3 plus 2 plus 3 it is 8 or else you can add like this also like diagonally also 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 7 15 15 plus 2 17 17 plus 3 it is 20 so you have completed the table so how to confirm uh, confirm that whether this table is correct or not it is very easy if you you got the cumulative highest cumulative frequency if it is at 20 the sum of the frequency is also 20 then your table is 100% correct now we'll write down the formula for median before that we will see what is the length of a class so here the median row is this the highest frequency is 7 so you have to underline that row like this so this is 
the length of a class that is 10 and the median class what is the lower bond that is L how much it is 30 and this is capital F and this is small f see carefully the cumulative frequency before the median class and the frequency in the median class is small f that you have to remember carefully now we'll write down the formula the formula is l plus n by 2 minus capital f by small f into c in your textbook something has written c f and some h here so this is very easy to remember the formula this is very easy l plus n by 2 minus capital f by small f into c let us write down the values now here l is 30 and how much is n n is 20 f capital f is 8 small f is 7 and the length of a class that is 10 let us substitute in place of l we will write 30 and n is 20 by 2 and here it is minus f by small f that is 7 into 10 so most of the do students what they'll do they'll uh, make an lcm for 2 and uh, they will subtract this operation and then they will do so easy method i will tell first you have to cancel these two two ones two tens you will get 30 plus here you will get 10 minus 8 by 7 so the median will be that is 10 minus 8 into 10 that is 20 that is 10 minus 8 is 2 2 into 10 20 20 by 7 so most of the students what will they'll do they'll add 30 plus 20 by 7 like they'll do the fraction operation so instead of that you can do first division here that is you divide 20 with 7 that will be more easy you will get 2.857 and it is very simple to add and put the answer so this is the median for grouped data and we'll move on to the next one that is mode for the grouped data let us take the table the same class interval and the frequencies the sum of the frequencies is this here it is 20 here the model class that is the highest frequency class this one you have to underline like this and here also same the class interval is c that is 10 the lower bond is 30 and here the sum of the frequencies is 20 and here you have to note down here so for mode i will explain very easy method see here here you have to represent the highest frequency as f and the small and the before one previous one you have to take it as f1 and the succeeding one you have to take it as f2 now we'll write the formula this is the form this formula is not given in your textbook this is very simple and very easy formula to remember ma l plus delta 1 by delta 1 plus delta 2 into c this is very easy method so what is delta 1 it is f minus f1 what is delta 2 it is f minus f2 now you know what is f the highest frequency is f and the preceding one is f1 that is 3 and the succeeding one is 2 that is f2 now first we'll find out what is delta 1 and what is delta 2 delta 1 is nothing but 7 minus 3 4 and delta 2 is nothing but 7 minus 2 5 and 
lower bound that is 13 and class interval is 10. Now we'll substitute like 30 plus you know what is delta 1 it is 4 and denominator delta 1 plus delta 2 so you can write 4 plus 5 into 10 c is 10 now the simplification 4 into 10 40 5 plus 4 9 when you divide 40 with 9 you will get 4.4 .4. and when you add you will get the mode as 34.4 so this is very easy method and this is the formula when you do like this also you'll get 100% marks and this is very easy method to find out the mood of the data. Thank you students and next session we'll discuss some of the typical problems in statistics. Okay, thank you.